Good morning, everybody. This is a live emergency update as uh, we have a dangerous tornado outbreak that is forecast today across portions of Kansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas. This includes Oklahoma City all the way up to the Wichita area. And it looks like storms could initiate as early as about 4 p.m., uh, just to the west of the Oklahoma City area and uh, even southwest Oklahoma all the way up to the Wichita area. And uh, the low-level jet this evening is going to strengthen to above 70 knots during the magic hour from about 7 to 8 p.m. And any of those supercell storms will have the potential of producing strong to potentially violent tornadoes. You're looking at the updraft helicity tracks here that shows you those long track supercell storms. And uh, the forecast models are definitely trending just a little bit earlier as well. And that's because we have this perfect trough shape. There's a little bit of a lead disturbance that comes out. And the right entrance region is going to get dragged across central and northern Oklahoma right above peak heating. So 4 to 5 p.m. is when uh, that lead jet streak is going to arrive. And the HRRR model definitely trending toward earlier and earlier initiation out here. And we always like to start uh, with the upper level trough shape here at Team Dominator with our forecast process. And you can definitely see this ski jump trough ejection here nosing right into the southern plains during peak heating. And that's going to trigger a major low-level jet. And by 7 p.m., that's already cranking at, at 50 knots here across Kansas into Oklahoma. As you go into the overnight hours, it strengthens even further. So look at that. By 10 p.m., your low-level jet's going to be greater than 60 knots, even pushing 70 knots up into southern Kansas, and that's going to bring with it uh, a strong to potentially violent tornado potential tonight. So if you live Oklahoma City up to Wichita, back toward Wichita Falls, and uh, even down into Dallas, uh, definitely stay tuned to those severe weather watches and warnings all the way up to Kansas City down to Tulsa. Here's your low-level jet uh, in the overnight hours, uh, but it definitely ramps up relatively early. And uh, one thing I want to show you here with the forecast models is how quickly this environment ramps up. We'll look uh, really quick at the significant tornado parameter. So as early as about 5 p.m., you can really see this environment start to blossom up near the Oklahoma City area. Uh, you can even see a hole in that instability field. That is an anvil shadow and a supercell storm that develops already by about 21Z. And look at this significant tornado parameter just blossom as we go a little bit closer to the magic hour. And you can also see another little hole just to the southwest of Oklahoma City. That shows you uh, the likely area where a supercell storm is going to initiate. And look at this sharp dry line that's in place. Very deep moisture to the east of that dry line. We're looking at like mid uh, 60s dew points. Uh, and they're probably going to be higher than what this HRRR model is showing. There's the HRRR model dew points. You head over to the three kilometer NAM. And this is likely a more realistic expectation of what the dew points will be. Look at that dew point in Woodward dropping down into the 30s. And just to the east of Woodward, we have a 66 dew point. So that's a very sharp dry line just to the northwest of Oklahoma City. And you can see these holes within that instability field show you where we, uh, those uh, storms are likely uh, to initiate. And uh, looks like they could develop a little bit earlier too. There you can see the arrival of this moisture, uh, deep moisture, 60s dew points. It's already cloudy out there. And you can see the HRRR model uh, showing you the initiation of those storms as early as even 3 to 4 p.m. So we are going to be in full tornado intercept mode in the Dominator 3 starting our live by about 3 p.m. And we are going to be recording live data as we intercept these tornadoes, hopefully to provide you with a real-time estimate of tornado intensity. And this is the 12Z HRRR. I go over to the 14Z and see how it's already starting to trend up in terms of the moisture and uh, also in terms of how early these initiate by 4 p.m. Looks like just to the west of Oklahoma City where that initial storm could develop. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if another storm develops out of northwest Oklahoma into southern Kansas as well. Uh, but this is likely going to be a dangerous tornado producer lifting just to the north of the Oklahoma City metro. And here we go. The forecast models are trending up with the potential of that storm developing over southwest Oklahoma, moving right up the I-44 corridor approaching the Oklahoma City Metro as well by about 7 to 8 p.m. So it looks like multiple rounds of tornado producing storms. Look at these um, isolated supercell storms that the model is showing and uh, those lift up into northeastern Oklahoma as we get a little bit closer to the midnight hour. 
Uh, definitely a dangerous day. We look at last night's m -Pass model, and it has a better handle on the moisture. And this is the 12Z m -Pass now, actually, that's coming out. So this is that brand new model that shows an initiation of those supercell storms north to south, to the west of the Oklahoma City metro, all the way down to the Red River. So this is the new m -Pass model. This is breaking news as this model is coming out. And uh, look at this storm going right through the Oklahoma City area. Very dangerous storm. You have another one a little bit closer to the Red River that really blossoms, turns into a long track tornado producer as well. So uh, we have these two supercell storms. This is at 6 p.m., 6 to 7 p.m. So we're trending a lot earlier as well uh, with these tornado producers. And these look like a very capable of producing strong to potentially violent tornadoes as they lift off to the northeast. Uh, you are looking at the m -Pass model here, folks, and look at the high-end environment that's going to be in place for these storms. This is your 0 to 1 kilometer energy helicity index at 0Z, and that's only going to increase after that. But right after these storms initiate, by 4 p.m., you're already looking at an environment very conducive for tornado potential. So we're going to have to be on these storms right when they fire up. We might start just to the west of the Oklahoma City Metro, may end up dropping down the line, may just end up staying with these lead storms that develop just to the west of the Metro. But that environment just blossoms as you're moving forward with time. All those bright colors, colors show favorable overlap of surface-based surface instability and also low-level wind shear. Just absolutely extreme low-level wind shear in place across this area. And again, here is the threat area. You need to stay tuned to those severe weather watches and warnings today. Folks out there, looks like a very dangerous day ahead. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Here is our target area in pink, stretching from Northwest Texas all the way up through central and Eastern Oklahoma into Southeastern Kansas. And uh, our target area coming up looks like it's focusing here in central Oklahoma. So it uh, looks like those storms are going to initiate relatively early, as early as about 3 to 4 p.m., just to the west of the Oklahoma City metro, right off of that very sharp dry line. And then those are going to start pushing off to the east and uh, will definitely cause some major problems. Very large hail, destructive very large hail, uh, baseball size uh, and larger, and also the potential for those strong to violent tornadoes. That includes the Oklahoma City area all the way up to Wichita as well. Look at that very sharp dry line that pushes off to the east. Looking at the updraft helicity tracks uh, in concert with the composite reflectivity, you can see the wake that these leave right behind them. And that initiates very close to the Oklahoma City metro. And we also have another one that looks to evolve just to the south of the Oklahoma City metro as well. And it uh, might be a little bit difficult to keep up with these going through the metro with the uh, traffic as well that can happen out there. Uh, but look at these storms. Major updraft helicity tracks, isolated supercell storms, ripping off that dry line, and it uh, looks like it is setting its sights right on the Oklahoma City area. So if you live in the Oklahoma City metro, be sure to stay tuned to those severe weather watches and warnings. Definitely realize that uh, this is trending a lot earlier in a convective initiation, maybe as early as about 3 to 4 p.m. You can see these develop and the low-level wind shear ramps up just after they initiate. So they initiate right at about 4 p.m. and they'll probably be producing tornadoes by about 5 p.m. already as they approach the Oklahoma City metro and that low-level wind shear ramps up. We may even have multiple rounds of supercells off this dry line. I can see the first one going off to the east and then I can see another round of supercell storms developing off that dry line. So once the supercell storms move over, uh, does not it does not mean that it's uh, the, the severe weather event is over and that these dry lines can definitely have the potential of initiating multiple rounds of supercell storms. So we are looking at the latest MPES model that is just now coming out, folks. This is breaking news. Uh, we have uh, supercell storms that are going to initiate just to the west of Oklahoma City, possibly as early as about 3 to 4 p.m., and uh, there's 4 p.m. You already have a string of pearls lining up from central into southwestern Oklahoma. You've got deeper moisture that's coming in as well. Look at that low to middle 60s dew points, even to 70 dew point down into the Dallas area. But a little bit less up into Wichita by about 4 p.m. And uh, that might be a little bit of a limiting factor for tornado potential. But you can see that 60 dew point arrives in Wichita there by 7 p.m and likely will be storms coming out of south uh, northwest Oklahoma and across southern Kansas. 
Deeper moisture, though, central and southern Oklahoma. We likely want to play the very northern edge of that moisture, but I am a little bit worried about that storm coming out of the Wichita Falls area, lifting up to the south Oklahoma City metro, especially with that deeper moisture down there. This storm is going to be a very dangerous tornado producer down there as well. So we definitely have a, a dangerous day. Look at these blossom at about 9 p.m. as they're moving into eastern Oklahoma at this time, one just to the southeast of the Oklahoma City metro by 9 p.m. And even though the models do not show another round developing around the magic hour off the dry line, that is very possible that there could be another round of supercells coming in right behind it. So uh, this is the new 12Z MPES model. We can compare back to the 0Z MPES a lot of consistency from the 0Z to the 12Z model runs uh, in the MPES model, showing you the evolution of these supercell storms, developing first to the west of the Oklahoma City metro, arriving at I-35 uh, as early as about 5 to 7 p.m., and then pushing east, and there might even be another round right back behind it. So very dangerous day, and we are going to be doing our full-blown science mission today. We are going to be intercepting these tornadoes live, hopefully sharing with you real-time information inside of the tornado. That includes pressure fall, that includes wind speed as we're intercepting these, and then we're going to blast all the way to Dixie Alley for tomorrow as it looks like there is a high-end threat for a tornado outbreak tomorrow centered across the central and lower Mississippi River Valley. We're likely going to blast all the way east, continue to chase this all the way to the Little Rock area, catch a couple hours of sleep, and uh, then chase once again tomorrow. But might have this remnant of our supercell storms here in Oklahoma to Kansas as an MCS moving through the Ozark Mountain region, northern Arkansas, southern Missouri in the early morning hours on Wednesday. These will clear out, and then we'll get more supercell development uh, by early afternoon on Wednesday. Those will push east of the central and lower Mississippi River Valley as well. We'll take a look at our SPC outlooks. There's the uh, enhanced risk for today, folks, across, uh, for, by the Storm Prediction Center. And uh, that has been upgraded, upgraded tornado probabilities. I wouldn't even be surprised if we get a moderate risk uh, shortly here on the day one outlook, just because it looks like such a high-end tornado threat. There's the uh, tornado potential for tomorrow. That 10 hatch area for strong to potentially violent tornadoes goes from the Arklatex all the way up to Cincinnati. It includes central and southern Illinois, Indiana, southwestern Ohio, western Kentucky, western Tennessee, much of Arkansas, and uh, southeastern Missouri. So that is the uh, target area for tomorrow. And that includes Memphis up to Jackson, Tennessee, almost to Nashville as well. Might as well include Nashville up to Louisville. So there is your threat for tomorrow. Today, though, a high-end tornado potential here, including the Oklahoma City Metro all the way up to Wichita, back into Northwest Texas as well. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Be sure to share this stream with anybody that you know that lives in this area and across Dixie Alley as well. Uh, but we are going to be going live at about 3 p.m. from the Dominator 3 in full-blown intercept mode coming up this evening. Be sure to stay tuned, everybody. We are going to be recording real-time science information, warning people in the path of these storms, breaking down radar in real time as well. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. And thank you, Team Dominator members, for making all of this possible, including our science mission. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this live emergency update. We've got to get back to prepping the Dominator 3 so that we can get ready for full-blown storm chase mode. A very dangerous day is ahead here, including Oklahoma City to Wichita, down to the Red River, even into North Texas. Definitely stay tuned to those severe weather watches and warnings. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Stay safe, Oklahomans, Texans, Kansas folks. Looks like a dangerous day, a classic Southern Plains outbreak, and it's going to be starting a lot earlier than many of those forecast models have been showing.